Welcome back ladies and gents to CW's Outdoors. I uh, wanted to make a quick video and give you guys an update about where I have been for the past four months. Here it is September 2019. Late fall, early fall, whatever you want to call it. Getting cold, days are getting shorter. But uh, yeah, it's been four months since I haven't made a video and put it out and talked to you guys. But um, I believe it was in June 2019 of this year. Um, unfortunately, my truck was stolen. I had all my fishing gear, all my recording gear, everything that I pretty much own to record and fish was in my truck. Yeah, I shouldn't have kept it in there. I should take everything out, you know, every day after I'm done fishing, after my sessions. But um, you never think that something like that would ever happen to you, you know. Yeah, I was just, it was a daily routine, you know. It's something I do every day, every single day of the week before I have to get to work. Um, I literally ran out to my truck, went and started it. Um, was gonna run back inside real quick to go grab my coffee, grab my coffee, uh, lock up the house, walk out, and I don't hear my truck running. And I walk out front and I see my truck going down the road. Um, he had that truck in less than two minutes. It was like he was sitting there watching me or he knew my routine, you know, every day and, and grabbed my truck. But, uh, it only took about two days and they found it. They found it down in Lakewood here in Colorado. Um, guy dipped the truck. Um, not a lot of damage, a little interior damage done to the truck and whatnot, but, uh, the truck's fixed. They've got everything taken care of. You know, thank God that we have people that can do that. But uh, yeah, truck's fixed. Unfortunately, everything that I had in the truck, all my recording gear was dumped or pond, whatever. All my tackle was gone. Everything was gone. But um, my rods and my reels were still in the back of the truck. I still had my rods in my reels, but uh. Some of the rods, uh, the guys were bent, you know, things like that. Uh, the rods, I think I was able to save maybe two of the rods out of six. Uh, the reels were okay. I was able to repair and fix the reels. So was still able to do those because I literally just got those reels. All my loose reels, I just got those for the 2019 season. So I'm blessed to be able to save my reels, but uh, everything's replaceable, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's where I've been for the last four months. You know, that's why I haven't been able to talk and see you guys. But, uh, it's been a good year. 2019 has been good for me. Uh, these last four months, I probably caught over about 200 bass. Uh, a lot of fish caught. I wish I could have shared it with you guys. Uh, the experience has been crazy this year. Uh, my goal for a five pounder, I still haven't reached it. I did catch one that was 4-1, a uh, little over four pounds I caught this year, so thankful to catch her, big girl. Uh, you guys will see a clip of her. Um, a lot of threes, you know, a lot of fish. Uh, that day I caught that four pounder, I believe I caught around 25 fish that day for around 20 pounds of fish. So that was a good day. That was probably the best day I've had all year. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with a little clip, show you guys of kind of what's going on, um, some of the catches that I've had. Um, actually, I'll probably upload this video today. Me and Mike went out this morning and caught a few. He caught three, I caught three. I caught a big one, she weighed three nine. You guys will see her. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm excited to be back recording. I'm excited to show you guys the experiences on the way. But uh, yeah, so like I said, it's late, early fall right now. It's getting cold and fishing's about to get tough, I believe, here in Colorado. Um, I'm still gonna get out there when I can, record, do what I need to do. But um, thank you guys for sticking along and we will see you guys later.
horrible release. 3-4. Look at that one. 4 1 on the splashback six cents top water. Finally got me a four pounder. Let's let her go. Thank you, big girl. <laughs> Second biggest of the day. 212. Almost a three pounder. Here we go. It's on, Mike. Got him. Fatty. Look at me. There's one good fish, but I've got a little over a pound. First fish of the day. See how much he weighs. Pound even. Go, Mike. First fish of the day. A little fatty, too. Let him go. He's off. Flipping the jig. No. Got one, Mike. <clears throat> On the jig. He was in the tight shit, though. He was, like, in the middle of it. On that Divine Hybrid jig. It's a little guy. They're mad. They're fat though. About a pound, 15 ounces. Another little guy. Let's let him go.
the jig. Big fish. It's a good fish. Big fish, big fish. You're really hooked. Come here, come here, come here. Don't do that. There we go. I know, I just pitched it in there and I got him. Probably three pounds. I got him on camera too. Look at that one, guys. That's what we wanted. Good fish. Choke the jig, first flip into that brush on the hybrid jig. Six cents divine. Put a little uh, D bomb trailer. Look at that fish. Let's get a weight on him. Three nine. Let's weigh again. Three nine. Three and a half pounder. Beautiful fish. There she is one more time. Three pounder. Get the release. Make sure you go. <laughs> I'm glad we got a morning to fish though. I didn't think we were gonna be able to. I got one. I have to show you the video.